Yeah, uh, when you begin playing Factorio, the moment you realize you can uh, you can do this, it's like, oh my gosh, what have I been doing with pipes all over the place? Like this is one of the big uh, realizations you can have as a ah, it's so good, so compact, like so perfect, like parallel to the inputs, you have the ah, like it so much. Okay, and let's just uh, go from here. Um, or we we can connect, uh, but it won't make it tellable anymore. Um, yeah, let's just let's just make it parallel. Let's uh, let's do it like this. Uh, we can't. We need one more. When we get one more, maybe there there will be a collision at some point. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's just do this. That's, that's fine. Wait. We could not do this. Um, okay then, let's move one uh, one tile to the right. And we can move this, and we can move this, and then, darn it. <laughs> Okay, the water will be here, it won't be connecting to anything, and, um, oops, oh no, okay, it, it didn't float, okay, for a moment I thought there was petroleum here, but the game would not let me do this. Okay, like this, perfect. Um, and to make it tileable, we want it to be like this. Okay. Oh, oh and uh, of course, power poles. So it's almost tileable. We just need to add uh, these. Not sure how much sulfur I need, but uh, uh, for the petroleum, it's very easy to tile it. So we'll just add more uh, armor rows if uh, we need more for. Uh, for a bootstrap base, it's enough. Okay, perfect distance, cool. Everything is working out. So blue science is almost ready to be in the place. Uh, now let's go with undergrounds. So uh, we redirect sulfur here, and what else? Our uh, red circuits, and we redirect uh, red circuits. Uh, their belt will be here, and uh, you can just do this, 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 and we can get more of them if needed. And perfect. We have both of them that that will be coming. Uh, side. Uh, we need iron to come here. So where is the iron? Sorry about the bus guys. Uh, I know I said I uh, there won't be bus, uh, but they there won't be bus in the final base, in the one that we will start when we will have uh, uh, everything going. For now, for the starter base, the bus is uh, almost unavoidable. I mean, you could have spaghetti, but uh, just for organization. But yeah, in, in the final factory there won't be bus. Uh, there will be stations. Uh, I'll try out the mod uh, which is not LTN but uh, works like LTN apparently. And uh, we'll have um, not bus uh, settings based on requesters and providers. Yay! Uh, okay, cool. So I think now everything should be working. This only need oh uh, still 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 still. Still still still. Here it is. Here it is. It's almost ready. It's almost ready. Uh Um 
here. Uh, no, we can't, but we can get it over here. Like this. And I'll make another one for the opposite side. And we are ready. These are producing and these are waiting only for this, so there is no mistake. So let's just copy this. Flip. Plop. And here we go, a tile level blue science factory with the uh, with proper belt drawing from all sides. Yay! Wait, no mistakes. Uh, this one should go here. Right? Yeah, this one is the underground one and this one is for steel. Uh for iron. Cool! Cool, cool, cool. And of course, I have no poles. Poles are my nightmare because I never. I haven't been lazy enough to produce uh, them automatically. But it will come soon. The laziness will come soon. No need to worry. No one escapes the laziness at some point. Sorry, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is why it's good to test uh, <laughs> to test one part before uh, flipping it and copying everything. Because if you forget one small thing, you'll need to do it for every sub part. So, uh, are we sure that now everything is working fine? Yes, they will be producing. And so now, let's just take everything. Oh, this part is not very copyable, but. Uh, uh, I mean, we, we can do it two by two. I think they are not so. Uh... Yeah, we can do it two by two. One, two. And how did we need? We needed uh, 24 blue signs, and with this we have 16, so we need eight more. So let's take the eight and. Plop! Here we go! We have uh, blue signs provided perfectly to go with the same uh, ratio as our red and um, green signs. Uh, and I need some more stuff to put here. Let me get some uh, assemblers. Uh, assemblers. Oh. Perfect. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, reds. And do I have enough uh, belts? Yeah, I do. So, uh, I think I'll plop military science as well, so we can have defenses against, bi against biters uh, while we are uh, working on the layout for the final base, finally. And uh, I don't have any research left. Um, hmm. What should we be researching? Warehouse. That's cool. That's really that's really good. Six by six. Uh, for uh, for the trains, it's uh, it's it's really good. It will save uh, the hassle of. Uh, uh, sorry. Why are you, are you not working? <gasps> oh, I have neglected the energy. Okay. <laughs> as soon as I will upgrade it. I feel like we'll have some uh, some guests, some unwanted guests. Uh, oh, so, sorry, why am I picking up steel? I wanted to be picking iron. So uh, one, two, three, three, yeah. And again, five, one. It's always iron. I'll, I'll add sixteen uh, boilers. One, two, three, and oops. Oh, darn it! I think I've clicked somewhere uh, where I shouldn't have. Um, okay, never mind. We can add it if needed. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let's copy this 
I've made 16, right? So we'll be almost doubling our power production. Small iron pole in the way, how dare you? And I need to wait until all of this finishes. Uh, should I also make a sub factory for these? What do you think? Uh, <laughs> should we, guys? Not sure, because um, I think we should because uh, we'll be staying on steam power until we get to nuclear, and uh, <clears throat> it's it's gonna be quite a while because uh, yeah nuclear will require us to get uh, the production science back which is going to be the one we are going to be focusing after the uh, military science this is almost finished cool it will be free let's get some uh, miners which have finished yeah it's red because they don't have power so let's uh, let's give them what they want. Let's give the people what they want. It's important in every democracy. Okay, cool. So uh, we have enough power, but we have barely enough. So let's automate uh, the steam engines and let's plop more of them. And also let's uh, be careful about the pollution, which. Uh, I'm glad I checked. Uh, this will be attacking us very very soon. So um, I'm glad I checked. Let's uh, let's go clear this base. We uh, will have a bit of a trip. Can I have a car, by the way? Car. Let's have a car. Let's have a car and let's have a small uh, trip to the desert to uh, clear some biters. And to do this, we need. Uh, Oh, <laughs> I still don't made, we still haven't made any armor. Uh, let's do it just to be safe. And um, miners, uh, I had ammunition somewhere to the top. Um, I don't think we'll need more than ten turrets. So, yep. Uh, we'll just go clear uh, these two bases, that's all for now. But because we added steam engines and because we've added some factories, uh, Blue Science, uh, we'll, uh, uh, we'll, get in, we'll be getting soon our hands full with biters, so we'll have to automate our defense. Uh, I was just hoping we could uh, do the Blue Science before we start with the defenses, because it, it will tremendously help us with, uh, with stacks and, with, uh, and whatnot, yeah. Uh, by the way, let's, let's plug it. So it's not sitting here. Um, sciences, it's down there. So let's go this way. And we are almost, uh, almost at the word. Exactly the right track, but almost. Uh, by the way, um, yeah, I think we should have been um, should have been using only one side of the belt, so we can use. Uh, yeah, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'd like us to be using only one side of the belt because we will plug the uh, black signs on the same side. Um, so, uh, what was the, what was the, I think it was like this, oh, darn, something like this, right, for uh, one side. Uh, I don't remember. How do you, you need to take from the right side and to put it to the left? Something like this, maybe? Just to make a balancer. Uh, like this. It's just so they both arrive on the right side. And I think this balances them, because the splitter has priority, so it, it 
splits them into two. And this one, yeah, I think this is bar. It's it's uh, a <laughs> it's far from being an efficient balancer, guys. But uh, uh, just so that when we have black signs, uh, it goes here, and these are producing. Uh, why are you not producing? No iron, right? Oh no, there is iron. What? Have you lied to me? Factory planner? No, most likely my mistake, but uh, where is the mistake? Um, one of these... Why? Oh! Okay, it doesn't have input fast enough. So it's kind of working, but not really working. Now it should be okay. It should be okay. Yeah, now uh, the problem is iron. We don't have enough iron. But it's easy to fix. Everything has been uh, produced automatically. We have uh, furnaces, we have uh, drills. Uh, it will be very fast uh, to add uh, uh, iron smelter. By the way, why? Still having um do it like this. So let's add uh, an iron smelter. Uh, oh and um okay let's make uh, an upgrade planner. We'll be using it soon. From red uh, from yellow to red. Yellow to red yellow to red. Uh, just a default planner. Uh, and we can already start with blue stuff. So let's uh, begin with uh, mining productivity. Um, yeah, let's do it. Oh, by the way, guys, this mod is really cool. It, can, it allows you to transport the liquid over long distances with these huge ducts. It's, uh, it's really neat. I like it. We'll use it later. So, um, uh, no, before copying, we should upgrade it. We should do this. Okay. So, uh, we have everything red. It's just coal, it's not necessary. But by the way, the problem is not iron production, the problem is iron flow. So, we have some yellow yellow segment somewhere uh, okay basically the problem was that we didn't uh, expand we didn't uh, create the yellow parts sorry we didn't upgrade yellow to red um, fast enough and this is why uh, it got stuck but this is where the upgrade planner is useful come on Oh, I don't have enough undergrounds. Actually, we can... Uh, um, nanobots have settings where you can upgrade uh, their speed. You can make it uh, so they are fast by default, but... Uh, it's already kind of OP at the beginning, I would say, to have bots. So, uh, I did not do that. But you could. If you find it too slow, you could upgrade, uh, you could upgrade the settings. And I think it's, uh, it's even uh, in the map or player settings so you could upgrade without uh, restarting the game uh, well anyway uh, they are anyway uh, they are somewhere if you need them you can find them I really like this mod um, so where where is the iron oh what? what I thought a great planner wouldn't stop the flow but uh, I guess it did maybe Maybe I missed something. Okay, cool. So now we have our iron flowing properly. So we don't need to upgrade uh, to make another iron smelter yet. Uh, okay. While we are researching, uh, let's uh, go on with the black science. New sub factory. Uh, this is also BS. So let's call it MS. Or military. No more BS. And it will be 90. Okay. Um, 
it only requires 10 machines. This only requires uh, three. So um, one and a half per side. Oh, one and a half per side. Uh, you know what? We'll have only one side of military science. This way we'll have 10 and three. And uh, the moment we need to double our science production, we can do it, we'll be able to do it. Uh, for the grenades we need eight, so almost one to one. And for the walls we need only one. Neat. Okay, so uh, shouldn't be too hard. So 10 of these, let's start with four. Oh, uh, I need more inserters. Ah. Looking forward to having all the base covered with uh, with robots and the mole, and uh, my inventory never runs out of stuff. Uh, how are we doing better wise? I thought I would clear them, but uh, yeah, we need a car. We need a car. Let's make a car. And let's go clean, uh, clear some biters. I guess clean would work too. Clean them up. Bullet washing. Meteors. Yeah, as, as the base gets expanded, the meteor strikes are... By the way, We'll soon have to deal with these. I wonder if they can come all the way around. I think uh, on one side we are lucky to have uh, these choke points, but on the other side the choke points will be uh, uh, heavily... Uh, what's the word? <laughs> Under heavy pressure. And we will need to get uranium from somewhere. Here is good. Hmm. The oil is kind of over the place, all over the place. We have some here. Um, so yeah, it's it's a really nice uh, Baltic area with uh, with some uh, ocean view. It's not green yet. The water is not uh, has not yet turned to toxic, <laughs> but it should be soon. Uh, okay. So, uh, let's proceed. We need uh, three of the... Um, so, how should we do it? We need three inputs. So, um, let's move it just a notch to the top. And let's start making some green uh, uh, blue uh, inserters. Um, oh. Should we overkill it? Like... Uh, oh no, of course. Okay. First, we will need grenades anyway, so we cannot overkill the production because we will have uh, uh, it's almost the one-to-one -one ratio. So one assembler behind uh, each uh, of these. Huh? How should we place our three machines for? Um, And the walls, we need one for the walls. Uh, the walls won't be hard enough, but uh, let's try to make it compact. So uh, let's uh, <laughs> give myself space as I say it. Let's try to make it compact. Yeah, let's take a lot of space. Um, what I'm thinking is that we could maybe um, this require iron and coal, so only one belt is enough. Uh, Maybe we could have something like uh, like three here and one here, like uh, because we this uh, just so you know what I mean. This will be producing ammunition. One for three and three for ten. And if we have like one tile of all of this producing at the same time, but. Uh, Problem with that is, th uh, is that um, five and you need to pick up fifteen resources in eight seconds. So let's do blue ones, just uh, so we are uh, taking care of that. And we can also run a line here to make it compact. 
for the resources required by um wait this one can take um this one can take the uh, the iron from here this is cool so uh we can just move it one notch because anyways it should span across 10 of those so it's fine uh we can do this this and take the iron we can steal the iron from the dedicated belt uh, there will be some coal with it but it's no problem uh, then uh, it needs to go uh, to these machines so let's do it like this wait I need more so I can see so we don't make mistakes like this uh, so this one can output it here and these can pick it from here, like that. This way we have saved uh, the space, we have used this space very nicely. It's kind of compact. Uh, then, uh, these need only copper plate and steel plate, so we can have one belt uh, running here. Is one belt enough? How much do you need? You need a 5 plus 1, 6 in 3 seconds, so yes, one belt is enough. And uh, this is enough for... Oh! It begins! It begins! Yeah, I, I, I was too late with the cleanup. Let's change the... Uh, change, uh. This is the first attack ever on the base. For those of you who have just joined, we have been playing for uh, six hours on this save, and it's literally the first attack on this base, because we were so lucky to start on a... on a... what do you call it? Semi Island? What's the name? But yeah, uh, thanks to that, uh, we have been really chill and we had the luxury luxury, to uh, do blue science before uh, military science. So let's get our car. Let's put some fuel in it. Uh, oh, it's blue. Wait, and if I exit? Oh, it's still blue. Cool. And let's get some ammunition into the car so fast. Is it the fuel making it so fast? Oh wow. Wait, exit. Um, yeah, I don't need ammunition in the car. So uh, let's clean this up. These are uh, early biters, so it should be fine. We are at 18% uh, evolution, so... And we have nanobots repairing. Nanobots are kind of useful uh, for the turret creeping, because uh, repairing is uh, really... Uh, uh, I don't want to say overpowered, but it is. It actually is, so... And it's fine. Let's clean this one, because it's... Oh! Pop, 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 my car! Ah! Get away! Get away from the car! It's a really nice car! It's blue. It's mostly worms here. Let's repair before we pick them up. Cool. So we uh, we got rid of this one and this one. This one is kind of menacing here. It looks it looks at us menacingly. So let's let's clear it fast. It's not so far, and we, uh, we are fast with the car. Uh, so we don't approach it too much. Oh, it's kind of huge though. Let's try. Let's do it uh, step by step. Oops, don't get killed. Yeah, it's it's repairing, but it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't repair that much, so... Um, Step by step. Uh, can you kill these worms? Okay, good, cool. So, okay, now it's fine. Now we are just uh, chilling. Uh, okay, and final wave. Like this. Please repair. Thank you. Yeah, they don't focus fire, so we can repair everything. Uh, yeah, we can. Okay, no problem. Okay, it's cleared. Oops, don't stand in the speed. 
Okay, and now we are going back to business, to the good stuff. Let's heal up. Yeah, it, it, it was weird to me that space exploration has disabled healing. Like, uh, why why would it? Like, what's what's the what's the relationship between uh, exploring space and uh, taking damage? I mean, uh, I guess you would take damage in space. I don't know radiation. I don't know what they did they implement, but changing this part was kind of, is, is kind of weird to me. But why not? I mean, med packs are easy to make. Just need some fish. Uh, okay, cool. Let's check out the cloud. And uh, I think we are getting some attacks. Oh yeah, we definitely we are getting some attacks. I haven't even noticed, but uh, uh, and they are not weak. Like the walls are getting are taking damage. So let's get to military science and uh, let's see the tools it can provide uh, to clean this uh, mess. Okay, so uh, we needed uh, uh, the wall. This one's required uh, a wall. Um, these ones did not. Um, the reason why uh, I made a belt behind it so is that so we don't have uh, uh, like structure in front of it. So we, if we needed to double the size, we could just copy it next to it, and we would have the same. Uh, we would have the same uh, result. Uh, oh no, sorry. This was input. This was um, steel plate and copper plate, and the output. How should we get the output to here? I mean, we have to start like this, but then uh, we can go like... <laughs> Is it looking good? Does anyone has a solution? I mean, I don't want to to, to do it here because I want to, to have it tileable so that uh, all the assemblers are next to each other. Um, I think it works. Like, it doesn't look very good, but it's uh, it's functional, right? That, that, that's what matters. Like, I'll, I'll do this, and then uh, we can do this, and then uh, and then it's uh, kind of neat. So um, we need a wall, a stone wall. So uh, the wall can be built by this one. Um, uh, these can go under it. So the wall can be provided like this. And what does it need? Oh, no, not this wall. This wall, right? Stone wall. Brick. How much bricks? Oh wow! Twelve furnaces for uh, to provide enough bricks for the for the wall. That's uh, that's high. But I think 12 furnaces fit nicely here, so the tile is getting uh, bigger, but it's still nice. It's not like it's a... Uh, 10, 11, 12. Oh no, it's longer. Oh no, wait, we only have 8 here. So when we have 10, it's, it will be contained within the rectangle. So that's nice, at least. Um, and this furnace, hmm, because if we, if we come through here, uh, oh, how should we proceed? I mean, we could, um, we could do it like this, Uh, they will output to the outer side, which will come here, and it will fit to the inner side of this belt because it will be on the right side. So this will be no problem. Uh, so we can use uh, a long-handed inserter. I'm just worried that it won't have enough time to pull in uh, five bricks in 0.5 seconds. It will be too slow. It will be too slow. So, um, how about three of them? How about this? How about this? This way, uh, if, we, if we put three of them... Wait, uh, wait. This is not needed. Because we output... Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Now it's fine. Because we can 
output these ones and this uh, outputs to we don't even need the this looks better <laughs> it looks better uh, yeah I think this is fine what do you think any any insight uh, Why not? <laughs> and uh, this could even be a direct ones. Oh no, they can't. They need to. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, uh, I think that's good enough. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but maybe there is a there is some something, and uh, let's uh, discover that something. Uh, it needs stone and it needs fuel, so uh, steel belt is not helping me here. Yeah, I won't be able. Um, I need to move everything. Just uh, let's take one line of uh, precaution, but I think it should be okay. Okay, the tileable uh, military science is almost ready. Come on, on the bots, do your work. Is it moving 51%? Are we researching? No, we are not. What? Oh, blues. Oh, <laughs> my bad. My bad. Okay, one belt of blue science. And I have 88 on me, so let's, let's drop it. And let's resume our military operations. Uh, just a bit of um, moving around. Okay, uh, and now uh, we only need to connect inputs, right? I think we have... Uh, oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. This, gr this grenade cannot... Uh, uh, that's unfortunate. We cannot insert this grenade into this machine. Yep, no choice but to to move it one tile to the side. But it's okay. We'll have to have one uh, space between each set of ten. It's fine. It's uh. Wait. This should be here, but this one should come. Uh, Um, uh, sorry, I'm missing something. This is okay, right? It, why did you need the... I guess we didn't need the underground belt. This is okay. This will come to the right, to the left side, and this will to the right side, and it will have both uh, this and this. Cool. Uh, so now uh, we only need to uh, add belts. This is take, uh, sorry, just checking last time. This is taken care of. Yes, and it's all good. And this is also all good. I can just copy. And we wanted 10, we have 8. So, uh, oh, I should copy with the poles. Like this. Uh, a big pole here. I have a couple. Yeah, I need, uh, we need to automate this uh, this pole. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Perfect position. Uh, let's do it like this and. Uh, Ah, it works. <laughs> it works. Well, whenever uh, when we automate these ones, we'll have uh, we'll have uh, we won't have to worry about uh, using small ones. But for now, it's easier to produce small ones than big ones. And remember, guys, it's all temporary. This is a bootstrap factory. 
because I want to make my uh, space exploration factory beautiful and uh, functional but beautiful. It's a personal um, not limit but uh, and we need to play with this and they can copy. Okay. Like this. And of course Okay, this is called uh, in-place production. <laughs> yes, I know some people don't like it. Like uh, some people, maybe most of people have uh, stone bricks on the on the on the belt. But uh, I like to keep my uh, res input resources minimized to the minimum. Um, Cool. Am I forgetting something? This. Oh, of course I am. It was a dumb question because there is always something that uh, is forgetting. It's for. It's uh, forgotten. Pardon my English. Uh, and a pole here. Uh, it doesn't look good, but it's like the first one. We can say it's a special. It's. It's like your. Uh, it's a special child that requires a special care. No. Um, okay. Nice. So, uh, stone will go uh, to the closest one because if uh, I mean it won't happen. But if the production is not uh, good enough, we can just uh, replace th these ones by blue ones. If the input isn't enough, I mean, but it should be fine. So, uh, where where is the stone? It's here. Again, I'm. Uh, I apologize for having a belt, but. For a bootstrap base, it's uh, maybe one of the best solutions to organize everything properly. <coughs> yeah, I, I do apologize for the belt. It's not something I I want your I want you to watch. But it's just the first part. Okay, uh, we need fuel here. I think fuel was somewhere nearby. Yeah, it's, it's right here, uh, nearby. <laughs> the fuel had a, this fuel line had a, had a couple of adventures, uh, fortunate adventures. It began uh, in a crazy place, but then it came here for the concrete. Then uh, it could be naturally continued for, for the fuel to the train. And now we are using it for the, for the furnaces. Uh, oh no, not here, not yet. Um, oh, uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's take it a bit advance. Okay, here it is for the first one. Uh, then next, <coughs> this is okay. This now this will now be working. Uh, now we need iron. Also we need copper and steel. So let's use the same trick as we did here a third time, because we will have a one belt of combined uh, steel and copper plate. So let's get our splitter. Maybe it's one, it's the one blueprint I use uh, uh, almost the only one of uh, pre-made blueprints that I use except for rails. like. For those uh, who weren't here before, I have a couple of blueprints for rail that I will be using. There is a straight one, there is a junction one, T-junction, and there is a four-way junction. I did not make those, I uh, took them from a uh, library because uh, uh, people smarter than me place, uh, place th those signals. Uh, but I won't, I won't be using anything else pre-made. Uh, everything else will be handcrafted, just for the rails, because uh, uh, I'm not the best one. <laughs> is to say to make the rails I trust other people with this so um, where where do I want my input oh here 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 it's uh, this one so one of these uh, will go here 
let's move it just a bit just a bit to the left and uh, yep right here so uh sorry what was it again copper and uh, steel we have everything steel up and copper oh wow copper is not even uh, taken out properly uh, no that won't work um, hmm copper you are being uh, you are being kind of uh, disruptive here sorry iron I will uh, I will pay you for this. Uh, we'll be using a bit of your territory to continue. Okay, cool. Um, and here. Okay, nice. So we have steel and copper ready uh, to be inserted in the, into these um, Oh my god. I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. <laughs> it was not the correct one. Uh, I mean, it's not such a big mistake. Uh, I can just fix it like this. It should be here, not here. Give me that. Okay. Um. Oh, and I don't need... Yeah, it's not needed to be continued. Okay, so now just... Um, oh. Uh, let's do modular armor. We need it at some point. Let's... Um, let's bring in uh, iron and then we'll have our launch. The first launch of the first part of the military science. Uh, so that we don't make any mistake. The steel should be coming here, right? Because it's going uh, here and... Uh, oh, I need to take this one too. Okay, cleanup done. Uh, actually, this one was not needed in this case because uh, we're not doing the second side because as our tool told us 10 is enough for 90 per second uh, per minute for those it was 24 but for these it's 10 so if one day we double our science production we could just plop one on the other side but for now it's fine uh, so um hmm? oh oh no i miscalculated <laughs> This line was already used for uh, copper and steel. It cannot be used for the for this ammunition. Guys, what to do? Oh, but this one can. This one can. It's fine. No problem. No problemo. Uh, yeah, yellow is enough. This one can, right? So I just need to hmm? pick it. Okay, this is producing. This should be. Uh, um, oh no no no! It, it's kind of okay, but it should not be only iron here. We should bring in coal. Oh, and stone finally getting used up. Finally, we will be able to. This will be able to finish because stone is not is not blocking this anymore. Cool. Uh, so where were we? Oh yeah, coal. Coal was here, so we just need to bring it over. Speaking of coal. Uh, let's bring it from here directly. It's uh, no problem. I mean, it's uh, it, it doesn't look good because it was split before. Let's, uh, let's have a dedicated split for that. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 
let's have it on a line and we need to use this the same I mean we don't need to but if one day it, again it's a uh, if this and that <laughs> but why not so uh, we don't need iron here directly we need iron uh, here uh, no wait One is this one, one is this one, okay. Here. And copper will be here. Okay. Now we can uh, proceed with pushing this uh, one down. Like this. Just to clean up the iron that is uh, taking the place of coal. Okay, coal is getting picked. Okay. Perfect. And I think we just need one more because it's, uh, yeah, it's only eight. So we just need one more of these, like this. So we have ten. And the tiles is finally ready. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, a contained military science production facility which uses as input only steel, copper, coal, and stone. Isn't it neat? Just basic resources. I think it's neat. And we are redirecting it. Oh, uh, research. Research. What should we research? Lab research speed. Um, Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, first uh, we need the advanced cell processing. Yep, we need that to improve our uh, usage of lubricant. Yeah, let's do it. Is it 10 or 20%? 20%, nice. So 40% on turrets. This will help a lot with creeping, with uh, tower creeping and uh, even defending. This is cool, but uh, the next goal should be uh, the autom automatization of uh, of everything. Basically, the uh, the base uh, will be ready soon. The temporary base, I mean. Uh, with these four sciences, uh, we are ready to finally start to make a layout for the final base. Uh, the final base. Um, and I still haven't decided on. Um, the way it would look, they will be rail, of course. Uh, like everything will be tiled by uh, these uh, rails. These rails. Ah, snap to grid! What a great feature. Um, but I haven't decided what will will go where. So we'll have a dedicated smelting uh, area. We'll have a dedicated uh, mole area. We'll have uh, robots uh, on the whole uh, base, uh, which, we, which we are go only going to be using for our own uh, needs. And the mole, that's all. So we won't be using the global uh, logistics network for uh, crafting. Aside from the mole. Uh, okay, I'm talking, but uh, the science needs, needs to get rerouted. Ah, uh, just let's make it look neat. Okay, this is neat. Okay, uh, it does not have to be that long. It needs to go here. And here we go. It's also perfectly on the left side. So here we are. And now that we have researched oil, let's improve our oil production. Let's uh, get rid of the basic... Uh... Oh, <laughs> you're in the way, petroleum tank. You're in the way. Um, 
I, I, I don't want to delete you, but I will move everything a bit to the left. So uh, let's do it. Let's uh, improve our petroleum production. I think we'll have to use some circuit network first for that. So, um... Oh, I researched it. Fine. Cool. All good. All good. Uh, let's get some research going and... Oh, I forgot to copy this. So, anyways, uh, we need... Oh, what? There are two of them. What's the difference? 20 heavy, 70 light and 30 petroleum. 70 heavy, 30 light, 20 petroleum. So this one is better for petroleum. But this one is better for heavy oil. So uh, how do we want it to work? I think we want, it, we want uh, this one to produce when there is not enough petroleum or light oil and this one to produce when there is not enough heavy oil so we are kind of having two conditions here uh, yeah I think we will have to use circuit network for this to perfectly uh, balance the production that's how I feel because in total it produces uh, 120 gas uh, gas slash oil uh, this one also 120 this one only uh, 90 so uh, yeah, we have to use uh, those two in tandem, depending on the needs. For example, if we only have... Um, but yeah, wait, if for example we are heavy on lubricant and we don't produce uh, light and petroleum, we don't consume light oil and petroleum gas, uh, we, can, we can do it as much as we want, we'll have a bottleneck, we, uh, we won't be able to produce. But I don't think there should be a case when we are only using heavy oil, right? I mean, we'll be using science uh, anyways. Hmm. Interesting. So uh, let's uh, let's configure that one for um, this recipe, and let's plop some more refineries for the other one, and let's uh, juggle juggle between those, depending on what we need. I don't think we need much of these secondary ones because our most uh, most need will be uh, the light or uh, the petroleum and the light oil which is a better direct conversion than from heavy oil. Uh, I don't have any more underground belts. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Is this uh, space exploration? I didn't check. Huh. Let's see, so how do we want to go about automating that? Let's have some circuits. And you know what, let's use uh, one of those, one of the bars just for circuit network, because uh, I know that space exploration will require us to use it. Uh, no, not these. Uh, let's get a bit of uh, combinators. Okay. So, um, uh, is the output, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's exactly the opposite. So, um, let's, let's have the same side. Let's have them turned uh, this, uh, to the same, uh, the same way so we can, uh, Oh, now I'm regretting the fact that uh, <laughs> we build this up so close. Let's let's put them behind. I think behind is better. Uh, so three, right? So okay, let's start with this one. Okay, like this is good. One, two, three. Let's begin with three. So same input here. Oh uh, yeah, I need to. Water should be connected there. Mm. Same input here. 
and oil. It goes into both. This, uh, the water also should go into both. And let's get the water from, from below, shall we? I don't know why I, I didn't do that. I think it's uh, better to do it like this. Um, we don't have enough space here. Uh, hacking, hacking guys. <laughs> uh, okay, water is in. Uh, and let's connect it to that side as well. Yeah, I, I know I'm cro I'm crossing tracks uh, a bit uh, <laughs> like a madman, but uh, I think the train is not yet fast enough to to kill me. I hope. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but uh, uh, let's get substation and let's get the radar and let's get let's get everything. Let's get let's get modules. There is nothing particular that we need right now because we are still building. So, uh, okay, let's uh, automate our way of uh, juggling between those two. Uh, this pipe, this pipe, and this pipe. It's exactly the same on the opposite side. And uh, plop. And I ran out of uh, pipes. <laughs> it's fine. I have them uh, produced uh, right below. Uh, right here. Let's take uh, 200 of these. And, and there is no, no more space. Let's shoot up some chests. This, this, this. Um, this is not needed. Sand is not needed. Sand is too coarse. And they're rough. And they have too much fuel. Um, to place for some reason. Okay, neat. Uh, not the good part. How many? Oh, I don't have. <laughs> we also run off nanobots too. Uh, and I have a lot of steel in my inventory. Some heavy lifting here. Heavy lifting is going on. Um, okay. So. Uh, first of all. Uh, all of this should be stored somewhere, so um, um, if I wanted to add more here, I don't, um, I mean, I could always, I can have a small space here, if I can want, uh, if I want to add more, uh, we can just, uh, we can have a small space here for storage, uh, if we want to add more of these, we can just go a bit, a bit above, so it's, uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, okay, so let's have a tank for each of the liquids. Uh, and petroleum is here, so it's also cool. Um, uh, let's have another tank here for petroleum. So uh, we want uh, heavy gas, heavy oil, light oil. Uh, how should we put them? Like this, like this, and like, like this. I leave two spaces if, if needed to reroute or something. Um, petroleum will be here, light gas will be here, and heavy gas uh, will be here. And same for here.
best position of those. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh... Wait, I don't want them producing yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. So, now we want to control uh, the way they are produced. Uh, the way, I mean, we need to control uh, which ones are produced. Uh, I think the easiest way to do so would be to control uh, which ones get, uh, get the oil. And we can do so using a pump. Ah, plastic is always getting in the way. So let's um, let's put a pump here. Uh, uh. Let's not do it like this. Let's do it like this. And let's uh, go here. So uh, there will be two pumps, which are going to pump liquid on demand. Uh, I have pumps. One will be here and one will be here. This one will feed uh, the light oil uh, recipe and this one will feed the crude oil processing, depending on the needs. And the needs uh, will be broadcasted by uh, by the network. Let's let's have a big pole here so we can connect everything. Uh, and I like broadcasting the demand uh, on the red circuit. So um, I mean, not the demand, the, the the state. So let's connect uh, these. Uh, the state of the liquids will go. Uh, here and to both of these so uh, mm, okay yeah uh, we have the numbers so this one should be working only if we do not have enough petroleum or light oil and if you want any of these two we need to have a uh, or maybe let, let's just focus on petroleum. I, th I don't think light oil will be a bottleneck uh, anytime soon, at least in this uh, bootstrap base. So let's just uh, let's make it simple. Let's not make a combinator for both. So make let's make it just so just we will check the petroleum and if it's below um, let's say 20, 20,000 because the tank is 25,000. If it's below 20,000, it will uh, it will be enabled uh, like such. And this can flow, no problem. Uh, actually, everything can flow now because uh, their left ones are disabled. Uh, and what right here? And this should be producing only if um, only if uh, heavy oil is below. Um, Let's say 15,000. Why not 20? Because uh, I will reserve 20, 18. I will, I'll re I will, oh, sorry, biters. Just damaged. Yeah, I want to reserve 20,000 for uh, the um, conversion. So just to have a bit of a buffer, 2,000 buffer. So if not enough heavy oil, toggle on these. If not enough petroleum, toggle on these. Simple. So now everything is working because we don't have enough these, neither uh, we do have enough of these. And now if we, if we just set up some cracking, I think we should be fine production-wise. What do you think, guys? Does anyone have any thought or like maybe there is a better way or maybe it won't work? If you have any thought about that, please let me know. Uh, okay. 18 light oil. Yeah, we need cracking. We need to get cracking as soon as possible. Uh, how is uh, how are our friends biters? 
I'm afraid that this, oh my god, these guys can come uh, all the way around like this and maybe they can, they can attack us. I'm not sure if they can do all this way, but uh, I must say I'm a bit worried from about an attack from this side. Um, let's uh, let's see. <laughs> I mean, uh, I know they will attack at some point, but uh, I'm not sure if like they will uh, to which part of the factory they will run. Like, will they run here? Will they run here? Or will they like go for? Uh, uh, I think they will go for the most for the stuff that is polluting them personally. But it's hard to say what it is. Maybe the boilers. Maybe they will go to the, for the boilers or for the uh, for this. It's hard to say, so I need to be watching. Um, okay, cool. See, this one, th these ones are stopped because uh, we have 20k oil, but these ones are not stopped because we don't have uh, 20k petroleum, and we need to crack light oil into petroleum for those. So, uh, cracking is a base game recipe. I'm not sure if it has been changed. Let's see. Um, what should we research? Let's research uh, damage. Plus twenty percent damage is always good. Damage is the best. Uh, I wanted to grab more ingredients to craft uh, the chemical plant. I need stone bricks, and I don't have stone bricks because we don't build uh, the stone bricks. Yeah, that's one disadvantage. If you need it, you need to go with the source. I mean, we built it, but uh, I think we just built it. Uh, uh, it, it goes nowhere. <laughs> it goes nowhere. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this is a very useful factory. I'm proud of making it. <clears throat> uh, copper. Uh, how many do we need? Maybe eight of each. So uh, three more. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, all of these buildings should be uh, in the mall. When we have uh, when we have our mall, we'll get to have everything perfectly. So uh, cracking. Uh, just like this, I think. Uh, light to petroleum. Uh, oh, I don't have enough uh, pipes. I can make more uh, directly. It's fine. Uh, so, yep. Uh, I mean, I need to wait for them. So, while we are waiting, let's grab them. They're right here. Uh, I'm gonna be upgrading running speed because it's very slow right now. Uh, just below the. By the way, how is our science going? Is there any bottleneck? Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, th 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 there are, there is one, and that's the f that's because we didn't reroute the second one to the bottom. <clears throat> and the middle belt is uh, remaining for uh, the violet, purple, and yellow one. We have three belts in the middle here with uh, some neat uh, some neat inserters. Okay. Neat. So let's. Uh, is it better to rotate it or to flip it? I don't remember. Anyways. Um, water. This is for the water. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, this one. Okay, uh, and light oil. 
And before we connect those, uh, we need to make sure that they are only working when uh, needed. So we are going to continue our red wire here. And uh, I cannot do it directly with those. Uh, let's 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 uh, trigger. Let's let's connect it to the pump directly. I think that's. Uh... Oh, see, this is why uh, I was uh, asking uh, myself earlier if we should rotate or flip. We cannot uh, make a connection like this here because the water is here. So the answer to that is that the water should be one notch above. So the rule is that uh, the, the same liquid is on the same distance on the both, both sides. So thanks to this we can do it like this. But again, um, let's just move it one uh, notch to the left. If we do it like this uh, we will have uh, no problem connecting the liquids. Okay, cool. <coughs> so yeah, same liquid, same distance on both both sides. Uh, and let's uh, ah, let's pull our um, petroleum, uh, our light oil, with a specific condition that the tank. Enabled only if the tank is above uh, 20k. Like that. And same for here. And I think that's how most people do it uh, in the base game, right? I think most people do it like this. Um, only if above the threshold. Okay, and this goes back into our petroleum tank. It's directly connected to this one. Uh, should we be putting a pump? Sh should it be pumping to this? Um, then it should be another. Ah, uh, 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 what I'm questioning now is that we have two petroleum tanks. I, I don't want to get rid of this one because it's useful, like as a, a bit of a backup of petroleum. But should we be pumping all the petroleum from here to here? So we will be only looking at the level of petroleum in this tank, considering this one is full. I think it's better, yeah. So the output of uh, the cracking should go <coughs> back into the tank and not into this uh, post uh, pumping. Oh, and we could just pump it uh, after. So it's actually no problem if we pump it afterwards. So the tank is always, uh, this part is always uh, below this one. Yeah, I think this works. Okay, so this is uh, light oil cracking, and we're gonna, we're gonna do exactly the same very fast for the other one. Uh, eight of each, we said. Uh, yep, here. Just move it a bit below. And they should uh, pick more than about construction bots because we are almost. Uh, out of those. Ah, a mole. Looking forward to it. That's uh, that's a coffee mistake. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Let's use a big one. Uh, yep. <clears throat> Neat. Uh, this should be heavy oil cracking um, and we don't need the pump 
accident. Oh. <laughs> we do. We did set up everything for it, so we actually do. Um, this is oil. Okay, cool. Only if it's uh, only if the heavy oil is above twenty k. Okay. <coughs> eh? Sorry. Why? Why are you not working? You're enabled. Are you not properly? Oh, the the water is not connected, right? Yeah, the water is not connected. Um. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh my god, what have I done? This is dangerous. Um, let's uh, let's snake it here. enough space yeah this is water okay cool like this is fine this is perfect it's aligned with the the water and this needs a bit of a okay see how many pipes there are uh, by the time we will get to the special pipes these ones it will be way easier will be way easier. Should I show you? Should I show you here? Should I show you this awesome mod? Yeah, let me let me show you. Okay, let me show you. But it will uh, it will kind of interfere with the uh, it will kind of interfere. Uh, later, later, later. It's already working, so uh, and uh, why is it not outputting? Because we didn't specify the output. Uh, <coughs> should the pump be below it? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we can do it like this. Oh, uh, no, we can't. <laughs> no, we can't. Um, how should we go about it? Um, we can put it from this side. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is everything working? Now it is. Uh, no, why are you red? Yeah, because uh, we don't have enough heavy oil. So light oil is getting cracked. What is this? Oh yeah, I copy paste mistake because of this one. Okay, okay. Now it should be. Uh, <coughs> please, no water. Thank you. There was a uh, water inside. Uh, like, 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 like this. What's oh, showing water? Uh, let me. Uh, Cut that and paste it right, right, uh, right above it, like this. Oh, what? There's water here too. <laughs> There's water everywhere. <laughs> um, uh, water is everywhere. Let me cut that and redo it. So we clean this up. No more water. We clean this up. No more water. How did the water get in there? How does... It... Sorry, <laughs> what am I missing? How does the water get in there? How... Am I... I think I have put a normal pipe somewhere. No, I did not. How is the water getting in those? Let's do it again. I remove this one and see, it's, uh, looks okay. Put it back. 
now it's okay. Now it's looking okay. I connect these, so no water. And this, oil. Okay, no problem. Now it's cool. Cracking is in progress. And how are we doing? 20, 20k. So the final state should be uh, 20k in each of these. Uh, assuming petroleum is consumed uh, is, uh, faster than uh, others. And if, uh, let's say, it's, if, if heavy gas is consumed faster than petroleum, it should be consumed uh, almost four times faster to uh, to for petroleum for the petroleum to back up. So uh, it should be okay. Yeah, advanced slow processing. 